Yo guys, what is going on here? It is your boy from the land down under, Jetman99, bringing you a brand new video. Not a battle video, a video. And I, and I am here to bring you guys the LDL G Max Season 11, LDL D Max Season 6, and then the LDL Z Move Season 3, 4, th I think it's Season 3. To, to bring the coach reveals and also draft orders. But today, I am not alone. I am joined by the one, the only, Lazy Ghost or King Arthur, as he as he likes to go by now. Yep, T taking on a whole new persona. But thanks, uh, thanks for having me, Thee, and uh, glad to see these draft orders and see who's going to be playing this season. Yeah, and as you can see, we have a new background that looks slick, awesome. Uh, Wylander is kind of working on our uh, Greg Graphics pack. He's awesome talent, raw talent, and he's absolutely amazing. So. Now, we can quickly we will, so we will start with the Z move, and so we're gonna start with the, so we're, so we're gonna start with the draft order. Then, as the draft order is done, we uh, so we will uh, so we will then go through each coach, uh, basically in 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 reverse order of the draft order that happens basically. So, we're going to generate draft order. Okay, so. With the 16th. Are you? You have it pulled up. Uh, I do have it pulled up. But, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So, so with the 16, with so with the 16th pick, we have Shane. Ooh. Or, or Dio Stinko. Now Shane actually beat uh, Lazy in what season seven? I think eight. Uh, season eight of the of the of the LDL G Max. But in saying that, that was back on. Why that was back on Wi Fi, uh, second yeah. That last, was second last season, so, of, Sun and Moon, yeah. It was the second last, yeah. Season Ultra of Sun and Moon 3DS, yeah. Because I should also add that uh, our D Max and G Max seasons are going back to Wi Fi this season, whereas our Z Move is staying on Showdown. So, uh, Dio has opted to actually stay on Showdown after, after competing in the Bloodbath League. The, 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 the run in our off season, but next up, nice for the 15th, yeah, good, good to see him back. And uh, yeah. 16's the wheels, so not the worst. Yeah, now next up with the 15th pick is a poison prince and his team, the Alberta Azelf. Now, yeah, and I and I don't, yeah, you might have to fill me in. I haven't heard of poison prince, okay, but so uh, poison that's prince logo. was in our last season of Z move. Uh, I I think he either he th I think he made playoffs or he just missed out on playoffs. Decent player, and he's in a perfect fit with, with the league that he's in right now. And and I think the 15th pick will actually help it a lot. So next up for the 14th pick, we actually have a person that I'm familiar with, but lazy isn't too much. Uh, lazy Louie and his team, the Las Vegas Dragonites. A really cool logo. Yes, and uh, Louis has talent. I will admit that. Uh, so I met Louis in the NBA. We've played together three, four seasons now. It's all, it's always a fun match against him. And to be honest, I would I would have him as my pick to win Z Move this this season. Early calls, but yeah, I would pick him. The Nat Dex. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's Nat Dex the DLC. Okay, so they have megas. Yes, they have. So they have megas, and they have access to the to the data mine moves from the uh, Grand Tundra as well. Okay, so fourteen, not that bad. I mean, like having a later pick in those, like an ad dex format where like everything's available, you can yeah. you can make a pretty close to like a wheel pick there and get something that synergizes well early on. So not 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 bad being at these lower picks. And in saying, I do know that Louis. And I think a couple other members to come uh, have all, have all actually just just recently finished, or they're or they're in playoffs now of a different Nat Dex league, so they have some experience in in the format. Nice. But next up, we at, so next next up for the thirteenth pick, we have a uh, coach Snombi. Now Snombi is and he's in the Victoria Victinis. Now Snombi actually won the. Bud Bar. He won Bloodbath, yeah. Yes. I, I 
think he beat Shane for it, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. I, if I, if uh, memory serves, he beat Squid and Shane back to back. Yes, I'm pretty sure he did. Yes. So yeah, so yeah, so uh, Snombi, although a new name to the server, he has come with a force to be uh, reckoned with. Definitely. Yep, and another clean logo too. Definitely liking some of these logos so far. Yeah. So next up uh, for the twelfth pick, oh, this logo. I hope you like it. But uh, with a twelfth pick, we have we have JJ Koo and his team of Pittsburgh Pip Wops. Oh, that's cool. Now, <laughs> now an interesting. Fact yeah. So if you want to talk about this coach, I'm not sure who this yeah. is. Now, an interesting fact about this logo is uh, I actually made it. <laughs> oh yes, that's Fair classic enough. classic Jetman design right here. Very it elegant. Is. It is. Uh, but uh, so JJ, uh, so JJ and uh, Louis actually. Uh, uh, actually know each other in, in, in person, funny enough. Uh, so, JJ, skilled also, he just recently got knocked out of playoffs of the EMBA, the, the Natdex League that I was talking about earlier, so uh, he has talent that can be used, and I do see JJ making playoffs this season, but I unfortunately do not see him going all the way to win it. Yeah, and it's cool to see a bunch of uh, EMBA players. I know Will, uh, RNG Lord Will, um, did a lot there. And so cool to see the the some of the players that have been playing there making their way over to uh, LDL, which is always good to see. Yeah. So next up on the list at the 11th pick is actually a new coach that, I, that I've never seen before. He is new to the server. He joined from a from one of the plugs that I made in a different server. And with the 11th pick, we have Ted and his team, the Indianapolis Zolts. So that is a sick logo, I'll admit. That's a, that's a clean logo. Probably make the selection on who, uh, which draft had the best uh, logos. And Z move starting it off strong. Yeah. But in saying that, so with Ted, I have no idea of anything about them. Don't even know who they are. But they're new and hopefully they can challenge the league. So I so I guess the only thing we can do is uh, wait and see for their talent. But next up, and, we, and what what pick what pick was that too? Uh, that was the eleventh pick. Okay, it's not, so top ten here coming up. Yeah. So with the tenth pick, we actually have a returning coach uh, in Star Wolf and his team of Greek Charizards. And I've I've heard of this guy. Like I don't play a whole lot outside of. Uh, well, actually, I think. Uh, LDL's the, been the last league I've done for a very, very long time. <laughs> but I've heard of some of these guys before. Like, I'd heard Snobby and I'd heard Star Wolf, and uh, I think he's a pretty pretty accomplished battler in the draft scene. If I recall, I think, I think he actually... I think he finished in the top three for Z move, I think. Oh, very yeah, nice. Last season, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, if I recall. So, yeah. So, yeah, he has some talent under his belt. Uh, no, actually... No, because I, then I can't tell because the records have been changed. But yeah, but, <laughs> so, but yeah, so he, yeah, but yeah, so, yes, yeah, so the Wolf does have tal uh, talent and he can challenge the league, actually. Found a different dog I can check on, actually. He came second, actually. With, oh, very nice. Uh, yes, with a record of. So out, out for bullet this time. Yes, exactly, exactly. So he is looking to get that dub if, if, this time. But with the ninth pick, getting into the single digits now, we actually have another brand new coach. Now, I'm going to let you try and pronounce this coach's name. Uh, I'm going to say G... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say Junior Skiarava. Okay, yeah. Junior Skiarava. That's yeah. That's a lot better than my first attempt. I, I will admit. But uh, I'm gonna go with Jr. Though yeah, for the junior, purpose. Yeah, of I'm, 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 I'm calling Junior. But yeah, but his team is the uh, Vibrac City Victinis. I think no Vibrac City. Uh, no Vibrac Victory Victinis. I think it is, if I recall correctly. But yeah, so uh, Junior, new part of the format, and I'm looking forward to see what he can do. But with the eighth pick, 
we have you could pretty much say a, you could pretty much say a legend the we have the blind messiah and and he's oh, yes. the Vienna vibe checks yes oh good to see sean here um he's a really really fun player to watch he's he's definitely my uh, one of my favorite draft league players yes so yes yeah, so i uh, yeah so i tried to get sean in last season but he unfortunately turned it down but I think but I think Hanny forced him to play this season. <laughs> so so it is good to see. And hopefully we get to see a fight between uh Sean and Hanny. Because it'd be yes. interesting to see the compatibility issues that they yeah, yeah, that, Pokemon. That would but, be pretty funny. Big rivalry right there. Yeah. But next up, uh, for the for the seventh pick, we have another coach from the EMBA, but unfortunately did not play this season. But they've come to LDL looking to gain a win, and that is Shy and their team, the Minnesota Mimikyu's. So uh, Shy also knows uh, Lazy Louie and JJ Koo in person as well. So, so all of them could conspire to try and ruin the league together and work as a team. But no, <laughs> no. But if I remember from battling Shy in the previous part, uh, I. Th- I think I think you've played him once also before. I think I think you might have. Oh, nice. But yeah, but so but yeah, so Shy is decent, and I'm looking forward to what they can do in the league. So next up with the sixth pick, we have uh, it's your boy Gator and his team, the Glaring Gentlemen. Ooh, very gentlemanly logo right here. Yes, very clean logo. So Gator was in the league last year as well or last season i should say and he came in seventh with a with a nice and even record of six six so yeah so so gator does uh, so gator does have something to prove so the only thing we can do is uh hopefully you can improve from that record and and finish in say the top five at, at, at this time around but next up getting into the top five we actually we actually have a cousin of a family line that you know, Lazy. Oh. Uh, so he is the cousin of Trig and David. And and that coach is Rookie, and sure. And he and he's oh yeah. The City Don fans. I I knew he knew them. I didn't know that they were related. So that's so, pretty cool. All in the family. Yes. So we've had Trig come through. Trig annoyed the crap out of me. Because of you, <laughs> thank you very much. And then, and then, <laughs> and, and then had Davin come through playing the Zemi of the past few seasons, but I think he's opted out to focus on school this time around because he, because he's too busy to play. But it, but it is cool to see that Rookie has stuck around and stuck with it, and 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 I'm looking forward to seeing the progress that they can make at this, uh, this and uh, this and upcoming season. Yeah, and rookies rookies done uh, pretty well season over season so far. Yeah. So, I, and I think like um, yeah, for our call, I- he, he he just reminds me a lot of Anthony when Anthony first started. Yes. So, I mean, yes. could be could be another reincarnation. Yes, because I think rookie, I think he just missed out on playoffs the first season, and then he finished at six last season. So he yep. so he's improving with. With 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 every battle that he has, so hopefully he can finish in the top three uh, this time around. But so next up we have top four, and we have uh, partner B of the partner B. Where are they down here? We have uh, Hanny with the fourth pick, and her team the Durham Wiggly Butts. But for some reason, well, this is the this is the most adorable logo oh, I've seen so far. Hundred percent. And with a good boy as well on it. Oh. oh, I've just noticed a D on the ground. Makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually pretty great, I'll admit. But yeah, but so Hanny played last season also. And she finished up in the fourth position with a record of eight and four. So Hanny has made herself known within the Z-Move uh, league. But uh, let's see if she can keep it up with an extra four people in, and with a lot more new talent that is that is that has come through to the Z Move League. Next up, getting into the top three. So, three coaches left, uh, and 
and uh, and I know that I have picked Louis to uh, to win a LDLZ move. But it's okay. You can you can hedge your bets. You can make a couple picks am, since I they am. haven't done the draft so far. But I am hoping that Glob of Doom will win because, as you can see, his team, the Melwood Crocodiles. Oh, another Aussie boy. Yes, yes, he is an Aussie boy. Uh, he lives, I think, 40 minutes away from me, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, so the plan is to have uh, Glob win uh, Z move, have an Aussie win uh, D Max, and then have another Aussie win G Max because it is possible this season. Oh, yeah, that could happen. Actually, yes. I would be for that. I like Aussies, yes. uh, Aussie people. Yes, it can happen. So, so uh, Glob here is a third pick in a somewhat decent position to be able to get a good first pick. But, uh, but in the way of him, we actually have uh, Ice Ninja Alpha and his team, oh, uh, nice. and his team, the Freeze Spectre for Sars, which is actually a new team and uh, and a new logo for him. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's 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 definitely crafty. And the art of logos, I like this a lot. It's very, it's very ice because uh, he likes those that kind of color scheme. Yes. But I like this. Yes, he, yes. Uh, he he likes the bold blue and purple sort yep. of color, uh, with like fire around it as well. So yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, ice has come through with a with a couple of different logos every season. But I'm looking forward to how ice can go this season, as I think last season he played in our D Max for. Showdown, uh, and he came sixth out of a possible twelve. So he, so he has proven his worth. But dropping down to Z move as it is only a uh, showdown league. Uh, let's see if he can handle the pressure that he's held on him coming down to, uh, coming down to Z move. Yeah, so, nice pick though. Yes, but with the number one pick, we we actually have another person in the, in the friend group. So the so the final person to end the friend group with uh, Shy, JJ, and Louie is uh, Weverly and his team of Seattle Primarinas. Oh, that's a really cool logo too. Yes. So yeah, so Weverly is 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 highly talented, good bloke, and a bit of a background about his name Weverly. Uh, uh, he spelt Weave are wrong a lot of times in a league. So, <laughs> so the nickname just sort of stuck with him. That's awesome. So yeah, but uh, but uh, Webley having the first pick is actually quite good for him because he has a skill to turn a uh, to turn a draft very toxic. Because I think this man got Toxapex, Chancy, and just a bunch of walls in the NBA, and it's an and it's just an annoying team to face in all round. But but to end that there, that is the end of our uh, Z move draft order. So now we're going to move on our nest. So now we're going to move on to the D max draft order here. So as you can see, the logos have changed on the bottom, and just saw the order and can't can't say much. <laughs> but with <laughs> the, but with the tenth pick, we wait. So am I able to redo the order or? Uh, what do you, what, what happened? Uh, I just want to redo the order. Uh, I think you know why. <laughs> oh no, go for it. I think we gotta, we gotta do him justice, whatever it landed on. <sighs> Fine, okay. So with the 10th pick, we have, we have Looney and his team, the Las Vegas Latias, which is another logo that I made, actually, also. Oh yeah, I remember this one. And, uh, Looney's been around for a while. I want to say, like... Four seasons now, uh, I maybe five. I think I think Looney came in the very first season of D Max when it was when it was the, oh, uh, what was it called? The we just called it Miners at that point. No, because the first season was it, the first season was the season uh, that uh, Ratty ran. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't remember, but it's been evolution. a long time. And, evolution. That's what oh it was. yeah, 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 evolution. evolution. That's what yes, it was. That's what yep. it was. Yeah. So I think he's been around since season one, season two of Evolution. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely good. Good to see him back on board. Uh, good dude. And uh, yeah, just uh, tenth pick is the wheel pick, and um, just uh, for for the difference in format, this is Galar decks, 
Yes. Uh, basically everything that's available in the game as of no. I mean, October, or I'm sorry, not in October, but uh, August 16th, which is when we're reporting this. So um, that includes the moves that are in the game right now. Nothing leaked because all this is played on the Switch cartridge. Yes, so all coaches will 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 be playing on their Switch. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes yep. and all that because all of them have access. Yep, and 20 minute and... Yeah, and potentially like a hyper offensive meta. So this will be interesting for sure. Yes, because they will have the option to use a twenty minute timer or use the land timer as as voted on by all coaches. So next up with the ninth pick, we have we have Aaron Twelve. Uh had a reputation for being a genre, but he since proved himself that uh, he since proved himself that he can stay in the league and uh, finish it out. I played him in uh, what was it? Uh, the uh, off season. Um, good dude, uh, and uh, yeah, he had me on the had me on the ropes at one point. Yes. So definitely props. Yeah, looking here, he was in Z move last season, and he and he finished eighth, just clutching the playoff spot so he has a bit to prove this season and i'm looking forward to the battles that will happen between him and i so next up we have we have an admin coming into the to the rank here with the eighth pick and it is lord c oh nice yes dude so lord's team the philadelphia phantoms have come in with the eighth pick yeah, I'm a big fan of Lord G. I really like this dude. Uh, good mod for sure. Um, been with us a few seasons now, and I think he's made playoffs each time. So expect them to do the same and uh, make use of the pick here. But in saying that, I do have a bone to pick with him because they because <laughs> we because we had a vote between me or DJ going up to G Max. Spoiler, spoiler alert. And uh, all of the mods that voted uh, DJ, but <laughs> Matt and Hacksford. And then, oh, wow. and in saying that, so Lord's reason why he voted for G for DJ was just so he can kick my ass, apparently. So I. <laughs> oh, very pick. nice, yeah, dude! I love the I like the rivalry that's through. Yes, and speaking of myself, I have come in at the seventh pick, right here. Oh, and, nice! And my new team, the Australian Arcanines. Very nice. Yeah, I have battled many times versus Jetman. Um, still remember season seven getting my tang uh, Tangrowth frozen. I was going to mention that actually. And raging. Um, I've since uh, just uh, completely cast aside all uh, anger when it comes to Pokemon. Um, so now I can look back at it, laugh. But God, I was pissed. But anyway, but seven in saying that, but in saying that, so. <laughs> But saying that, so weren't you also pissed because of the uh, roast we made in the week coming up to it? No, th there was a lot that happened in season seven, definitely mm. in the archives for one of the best, and I think that was that was probably like top, that's um, top tier trash talk. That was that was that was peak uh, TLTPG um, for yes. sure, uh, just because the the rivalries were so intense. I think that was the first. I think we were still on Facebook at that point too. Yes, we were. That was our that yeah. was our last season on on Facebook. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so it was a little bit easier to talk shit if you could like pull someone's like an embarrassing photo of somebody from their Facebook and <laughs> meme it. So yeah, that was intense. But good times. And, and you want to know that uh, I ended up making a whole like 20 minute video, uh, just uh, just basically trashing uh, trashing lazy. So it is good to see that. But <laughs> it's uh, good, yeah. And I think too, just like um, yeah, it, it just it just made everything so personal and fun because nobody really ever took it over the edge. So yeah. So, do you want to add anything else uh, about this trash coach? Uh, or? Uh, no, seventh pick in this format. So, I, we hadn't touched on it too, too much, and I'll save that for the draft episode when we are actually making the picks. But uh, anything in the top uh, 10 in this format, you're getting like a game changer. So, seven just gives you a little bit higher in the pick of the list. Yes, and I did have a game plan, but coming in at seventh, I don't think it's going to work personally. So, I'm going to have to rethink and sort of change it up. But in saying that, let's uh, enough about my big head, and let's move on to another person that I have a bone to pick as well, because he also wanted me in D Max so he could kick my ass. And, the, and this is Zach, the weather gamer, and his team, the Chicago Corviknights. 
Yeah, the weather gamer coming through. Um, yeah, this will be this will be fun. I think there's some um, there's some administrative rivalries in uh, oh, yeah. Dmax that I'm very excited to see how they play out with yeah. you, Lord G, Zach, um, Blaze getting the bump up. Uh, that would have been fun to add to the mix too. But I'm excited yeah. to see him in uh, majors. Hey, but don't worry, I will be back up in Dmax next season. It's all good. Don't call, worry. Call your shot. Yes. Okay, so uh, Zach here, a uh, good player, good bloke, and I'm looking forward to the battles that we can have in the future. But next on to the top five pick, we have a uh, Pierce, and he's team the South Derry Sizzles. I uh, just want to say I'm so sorry to Pierce. I, I battled him twice in monotype, and it, I had electric versus water. <laughs> so, like, I, I just know going into that, it's like, oh, man. So this is the matchup I never want to play. But uh, he kept it competitive, um, definitely put a lot of pressure on, a uh, good battler. And so he's going to he's gonna have the benefit of not having to do monotype water in this league. And so uh, getting able to draft his stuff, I think he'll do well. well yeah, because uh, he made playoffs, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Did he made playoffs and he had to fight both electric coaches. Yeah. And then fight refight me in playoffs. Yeah. So, so I, I think he three three of his four losses were just electric. So outside of that he did really well. Yeah, exactly. So uh next up we have a new coach to the league and a coach that I am familiar with because uh, him and I are in the PCL together and that is absolute and his team, the Seattle Dragoneers. So, oh yeah, and this is um, you guys have battled, so I'm sure if this is another guy if you want to get revenge on. Oh, hundred percent, because uh, his Intellion basically threw me against the wall, and then in the bin. So I'm looking forward to getting my revenge, and I have an idea. I'm going to call this season the Revenge Tour. The absolute Revenge Tour. Done. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> no. Not absolute. Just Revenge Tour. Or okay. I'll, I'll think of a name because be, be because I want to trash Jake, trash Zach, and then also trash Absolute and High as well. So I think what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make videos about them each time. Oh, should I bleep that so they don't know? Or <laughs> uh, I think you just let the world know that you're coming for them right now. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm coming for you. There we are. So, so moving on to the next pick, we have BBK and his team, the Brick Breaking Crooked Dials. Yeah, another one of the off-season coaches. Which pick is this? Uh, this is the fourth pick. No, okay, third, third, that, pick, third pick. Third. Yeah, because I was gonna say in this format, and you'll know when you see the tiers. The I think the top three picks, like you're guaranteed to get like something really truly special. I think there's three Pokemon that are just. S tier kind of outclassed the rest of this draft. I will not name them, obviously. Keep that to myself. Maybe share with Jetman since they're not in the same league. But I, I top three picks are going to be so crucial in these uh, Switch leagues. Yeah, hundred percent. So, but yeah, so BBK finished fifth in the Z move last season, but he's opted to play Wi-Fi again after having the off season Wi-Fi monotype. But he's come in uh, D Max and uh, and he has something to prove for himself. So it will be exciting to see. But here with the second pick, and we have another TLTP TLTPG OG legend here, and that is Shu Hasu. Oh, very nice. Yeah, the Rock City Tyranitars. He's been with us for a very long time, yeah. And he is still rocking the logo that Mal made him as well. Yeah, that's that's uh that's classic TLTPG yes. right there. Yes, hundred percent. So yeah, so Shu has a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? History behind him. So uh, so I'm looking forward to him carrying that history through, and hopefully making playoffs just, this season this this time around. And I just realized who number one pick was. So it's now I understand why you're like, oh god, I can't believe you got it. So that's yeah, awesome. Exactly. So. As Lazy pointed out, the number one pick is actually high. High. Nice. Yeah. He has the worst RNG with drafts picks. So, like, um, the when he finds this out, he's going to be excited, I'm sure. A hundred percent. I'm going to be tagged like five times saying, Jetman, ha-ha, stuff you. Watch. 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm so this season's gonna be it's gonna be a tour that I will not forget for sure. But so hi and his team of the Fort Wayne Durants, talented player. I think he came fifth last season. I think he just missed out on making finals as well. If I recall. I think I want to say Blaze beating, but I don't think Blaze beating. Yeah, he's he's definitely one of the more consistent battlers um, in this tier. So for to get the number one pick, especially in this format, to get one of the two top picks, like he's going to be set up really good right off the bat. Yeah, exactly. So uh, moving on to our G Max tier now, or not tier uh, league. Now the now the league that everyone wants to know. The league that I was kicked from, the league that I was voted out from. <laughs> so there's just a lot of things going, going wrong in my life. But come, but come August 24th, it's all going to be set set straight in motion. But let's randomise this uh, draft order right now. Oh, you're fucking. And why are you doing that? Um, you're so fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. So... <laughs> you're fucking kidding me. So this is no, you're good. So. So, so DJ, uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see the jolts that are in this league. Um, Jesse, I'll let you fill in the blanks. But um, he was relegated last season. However, um, there was a vote just done by the mods because they were gonna fill a position here, and uh, DJ's in the top. Also, DJ, the winner of the off season league this uh, off season uh, versus yeah. yours truly. So, yeah, not sure if you got anything else you want to add there. Uh, but yeah, basically, so G- so DJ was voted because uh, he was not me, and also the fact that he won off off season, so they felt like he earned a redemption chance <laughs> in, in Wi-Fi in the G Mac, which I'm fine with, because it just means that I can get free wins. Oh, free! Yeah. Did you just hear that you just called the entire league free? So yeah, easy, free points, you know. But uh, I need you to put that in the Discord after this and pin it. Oh, yeah, easy. Done. Sure. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, I, okay, I, I would do it tomorrow morning, and I would tag all of D-Max and pin it. Perfect. In general. Perfect. All right. Okay, done. Perfect. But, so, here, with the 16th pick, we have... Wait, 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 wait. 12. 12, right? Oh, 12, sorry. I'm thinking 16. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Sorry, yep. So, 12th pick. We have Lays Spartan, 7275, and his team, the Victorville Victini. My opponent in finals last season um, definitely gave me a scare there. Uh, he is, I think, out of everybody on this list, he's improved every single season that he's played. Um, can't really speak to Max because he hasn't spent too many years in the this league, but he, he's gotten better every season he's played. So I he definitely one of the forerunners to win, and um, a wheel pick is going to help here. Yes, 100%. Uh, I am looking forward to how Spartan will go this season. Because I think I've been his kryptonite every season, so with me out, that is a that is another win under his belt. So in saying that, Spartan is my pick to win this season. Oh, uh, but I need my Aussie boy to come out on top again, <laughs> which will come soon. But so with the next pick, we have we have a returning coach, but from a few seasons ago, and that coach is Obo Obo Twenty Nine, making his return to Pokemon, hopefully. Oh man, dude, that logo is sick. <laughs> so I will add a bit of a background story. So Obo may not be able to play because he, cause he's moved to university, well, not university, college, I should say, because I'm talking in American language right now. And he and he forgot his game cartridge at home, so he's hoping that he can get it in time for the league to start. So prayers to come for for Obo to be able to play. But yeah, so I'm, but yes, I'm looking forward to Obo coming back. Uh, decent player, but he's gonna have his hands tied up in the G Max League here. With the with the roster that I'm seeing right now, it's gonna be tough. Mm. So now moving on to the tenth pick, and sorry, I have to breathe in and out with this. What is going on, dumb thumbs? It's a boy here, dumb <laughs> brother too. That was that was good. That was good. Yeah, I thought you were Brennan for a second. Um, yeah, it's it's really awesome to see Brennan back. Um, Brennan, one of the three two-time champions in the G-Max uh, division. So uh, he has definitely made it known that he's coming back to win a chip and uh, possibly bounce after that. 
so uh, about it every day. Very excited for him to, to come back. But yes, so Thumb Brother 2 and his team of Salt Lake City Swamp Birds have made a return. I think after, I think he played in DMAX last season for like two weeks and then he dropped because of work. But playing in an official season, I think it's been three seasons, three, four seasons, I think. So, yeah, so, so it is an understatement to say that he's excited to come back and play. But next up, we have our Lord and Saviour commentator, Zeminen and his team, the New Haven Charizards. Yes, I love Joe. Uh, he is the man and um, another coach that uh, has gotten better each season I've seen him play. Um, he was in the finals of the D-Max League versus Marolt a couple seasons ago. Uh, managed to stave off uh, relegation last season. Oh, hang and on. so me, definitely okay. a guy who's uh, trending up. And I've... Yeah, I have to talk about this crap. Okay, so, so Zeminen needed a 5-0 win to clinch playoffs and he got it. <laughs> and he and, oh, no 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 wait no so, 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 sorry not clinch playoffs to clinch not being relegated and he got it i needed the same as well and i think that i won 3-0 but yeah so yeah yeah crazy stuff yeah relegation last season was a uh, was crazy yes so yeah so zeminen has something to prove he he has a vendetta to achieve, and I look forward to his uh, achievements this season. But next up with the eighth pick, we have... Sorry, the... by the way, my, Joe was Joe's my pick to win. Uh, Zeminen's going to win. Ooh, okay. Be cool, be cool. Be cool. Either Zeminen or DJ are my two picks to win. Well, speaking of that little prick, we have DJ up with the eighth pick. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, wait, which pick is this? The eighth? Eighth, yes. Okay. So DJ and his team, the Birmingham Jolts, have have scaved their way through back into the G-Max League. And uh, DJ will have a target on his back. I'm going to call right now. Oh, yeah, definitely um, the off-season champ. Yes. Um, beat, beat, beat twice. I uh, just could not do anything versus the dark team. Um, yeah, he, he's... He, I know, oh, man. Yeah, it's that, that didn't even matter. Uh, he still won the game at that point, so... Um, yeah, it was uh, it was fun to see him kind of grow during the off season. Uh, just uh, he went into that with a mission. He just wanted to grind and get back to the G Max and was fully prepared. I still don't think he knows that he's in G Max until he sees this. So when he does see this, he's going to be super hyped because he was going to be a man on a mission in D Max, but just to get there, you know, a little ahead of schedule, it's going to be yes. fun. But yeah, so but yeah, so DJ uh, has something to prove after being relegated, but he's now come off a championship win, so hopefully he takes that mom- momentum forward with him. And in saying that, DJ is someone that who I would like to see win G Max, because I think I did call it for DJ to win season nine or ten, but he unfortunately hasn't. But I'm hoping he makes playoffs this season in G Max and he avoids relegation once again. And do it. He's gonna come out strong. Yeah. So, uh, next up with the seventh pick, we have another person who I don't really like because of season nine. But we're past that, moving on from that. And that coach is Matt and his team, the winner. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no ratty here, so it had to have been Matt. Um, Matt, one of the uh, one of the champions, past yes. champions as well. Season um, six? One, yeah, five or six. I want to say five or six. Because five was... Mark and six was Matt. That's that sounds right then. Yes. Um, so another guy in the Hall of Fame. He's been in this division every year that we've played it. Yes. Um, he may be the most tenured coach. In, no, I guess Squid would be the one with the most uh, tenure and uh, who's played in this league the longest. But uh, Matt definitely one of the OGs. Um, he definitely has the capability to win it. I think like every season it just comes down to is he rolling? Like because when he's rolling he could beat anybody, and when he's reeling, um, I know he 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 he's been pretty open about the fact that sometimes it's tougher to build. So, but Matt at his best is a force to be reckoned with for sure. Yes, hundred percent. But moving on, we have the we have the six zero loss championship player right here, the person who choked it in the finals, and that is Blaze. Oh, oh my god. I'm that's... going in. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm angry. I'm going in. It's so... He voted against me. I'm going in. I don't care. 
I uh, I'm a big fan of Blaze. Um, one of the uh, OGs. One of the OGs. Um, and uh, someone who's been around for a long time uh, was in this division. I think got relegated two seasons ago. I want to say uh, he um, started in the Evo League season one. Then he got bumped mm-hmm. up. Then he, I think he finished in the one in like the top three for LDL Evo season two. Got bumped up to G Max. Got moved down, and now he's back into G Max. Yeah, yeah. So I know he's 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 back for the Vengeance tour. So I'm. Um, uh, I'm hoping he does really well. I just personally really like this guy, and uh, he's uh, fun to have around. So hoping uh, he can use that draft pick to get yes. something good and start the foundation off back in the G-Max division. Yeah. He's, a, he's a good bloke, but I hope he doesn't make playoffs, but I hope he doesn't get relegated <laughs> so I can play him when I get promoted. There you go. But in saying that, if I was the call who I want to get relegated, I can't pick right now. I, gen- I gen- genuinely can't pick who I want to be relegated. So, it's genuinely, genuinely gonna suck for whoever does yes. this. Season. But in saying that, so next up we have my Aussie brother, Max Rapture, and his team, the Tasmanian Toxicroaks. This is the sixth pick. Uh, fifth pick. So Blaze is the sixth pick. pick. Oh, okay, yes. so top top so five here. Max has played in our two previous off seasons. Uh, he won the first off season, well, first Wi-Fi off season on on. A, no, not first one season, but he won the second to last off season against yourself. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I I think I had someone sub for that battle for me, but yeah, he took the off season that uh, yep. season. Yep, and then he came through this last off season. I, I think he did. He make playoffs or did he not? Uh, I believe he, he. Yeah, he also made playoffs in that too. Yes, yes. So I know Max from the uh, PGL, and he is a skilled player. So he is someone to watch out for and keep an eye on. But Max is my second pick yeah. to win this season to try and get all yeah. three Aussie boys up there. He's a he's a good battler for sure. He's uh he's got some really good content too. So we'll link that in the description. But definitely check out his YouTube. Um, very accomplished battler, and I'm glad he's around. Right. Um, Think it'll be a, a guy that's uh, that's good for the league, and he's uh, it'll be his first time in G Max. So excited to see how he does. Yes, because him and I hopefully have a hopefully have a series coming out where we both get oh, nice. abs- where we both get abs- absolutely plastered and just play Pokemon. <laughs> so Perfect. I'm looking forward to that. But moving on to the next pick, and the fourth pick right here, and we have the VGC legend himself. Oh, Preston. pressed on. P2 VGC and his team, the Neo Show Necrozma. So, uh... yeah, i a big fan of Preston. Um, I think he and I are um, very similar similar backgrounds because uh, he got started in VGC. That's where I got started as well. Um, he's done well each season he's played so far. Uh, uh, I think his he's... first season, he come out and he finished like 11th but that was due to lack of motivation because the coaches back then weren't weren't, weren't scheduling but the, but, oh, yeah. the, but the next season he came out and i think he won it no yeah yeah he beat um it was him versus uh uh 3LG. jericho 3LG, um which that was a really fun finals like yes. that was one of the best matches i've seen yeah. um but yeah preston came out on top both of those coaches very accomplished in the draft league scene, and so uh, glad to have Preston back. I think he's going to be definitely on a, a little bit of a vengeance tour, even though our uh, our our father, uh, Ratty Blue Wizard, is not going to be joining us, uh, who dealt Preston a pretty unfortunate exit <laughs> last season. He's still pissed about it. Yes. I think I saw that on his app as well. <laughs> uh, actually, did he? I will I will have a look as I announce the next pick. But the next pick we have here is okay where is it what i do play the trainers it is your it, it, it's just your boy blazing squid <laughs> oh man oh, intros. I'm laying intros. I, I just i laughed because i forgot you did the other one and so it like totally caught me off guard but yeah. that was perfect uh, I'm a top, a top, dude okay top so three. i'm i'm, I'm it, this is crazy because one you haven't na- announced me yet so that means i got top two picks so i'm i'm very excited about that but two uh, Squid uh, at number three. That's uh, good to see another two-time champion here, uh, who has also made it known that he is trying to get that number three Pete, chip yes. as well. Yes. So, 
actually, and sorry, sorry, sorry to take away your shrine squid, but uh, Preston so Preston applied saying, "You know what Prez did to me." Yeah, he mentioned that he mentioned that somewhere in the chat not too long ago yeah. um, when someone was talking about that. So yeah, I thought that was really funny. But in saying that, so Squid here, uh, Squid Squid is a force to be reckoned with, and in saying that, Squid Squid will easily make top three this season. Yeah, I think um, I think for him the biggest challenge will just be I know he's working quite a bit and has a lot going on, but uh, he's always been one of those battlers that when he's got the time and he can really dive into prep and and make himself uh, like like gets really into it, uh, he yeah. can beat anybody on any and given I, day. Yep. And I, and I and I will also add, so little Bertie told me that we have a Squid and a Thumb Brother recording videos again for this season. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I might uh, be joining too. Yes, yeah, so it'll be cool to see their perspective because I know the Squid didn't up, up, up last season because because of it was showdown and he did not feel interested in doing so, but he's bought himself a mini little capture card to be able to upload the, the Switch and I'm looking forward to him and Brennan's content and as well as yours if you get around to it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, but that should be a lot of fun. Moving on to the next pick. And we have uh, Carlos with the second pick. Oh my god! You fucking... <laughs> I randomized oh, it, and then I saw your name, oh. and I was like, "You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me." <laughs> yep, I, I kind of realized that when I heard you going on in the background. But uh, Carlos here at number two, um, and he's taking the not... Cup Trees. He has not won a season yet, mm. but he is he has consistently been one of those guys that when you do the poll throughout the season, like who's most likely to win it, like Carlos is on everybody's he's, list. Yes, um, he's in he's he's in the top three to win it every, every time. He's and um yeah, he's just he's just one of those guys, like very similar to Squid, like if he's got the time to prep, he's also somebody who has a lot going on. Uh I R L. Um, but uh when he's got the time and He's invested and he's he's going after it. Like uh, Carlos is a beast, so definitely happy to see him get a high pick. I think uh, one of the top three, like you get an absolute star uh, with a Pokemon um, that's uh, going to be pretty easy to build around. So excited to see how he does this season. Yeah, so something I will say with Carlos, good bloke, good bloke, but he's always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going yeah, in today. Shots fired. I'm going in. One has to, so... <laughs> But, okay, so, with the first pick. Yep. Do you want to introduce Oh, me? man. Sure. So, uh, I, um, I hey. had a fuzzy feeling that I at least got somewhere that was funny. So, yeah. when Jesse said, oh, my God, oh, my God, I either got the 16th or the first. So, pretty excited yeah. to know that it was this end of the wheel. He paid me $100, guys. Keep in mind. Yeah, worth it. Yeah. Um, fair, the, fair the dragon pot. That's all he wants. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll either I can say now it'll either be zero or dragon pot. I like them both uh, equally, um, just at their own merits. But yeah, this is this is exciting. I think this is my. Let's see. Four. This is this five, is six. like if. This is my sixth season because there was one that I uh, did not play in altogether. But insane. Um, yeah, and there was one year for the left halfway. And if you didn't leave, I would not be here right now. So, yeah. So I am. Um, I'm excited to defend um, and try to get uh, number three. But even if I don't win, uh, if I'm able to successfully cock block uh, Squid and Brennan, I will be happy. <laughs> so yes, I will also mention uh, before wrapping up quickly here that uh, Squid and Brennan. Uh, looking for their third repeat, and Lazy was not going to play. He was going to be a replacement coach if need be. But Lazy heard that Squid and Brennan were looking for a three-peat, and he and he DM'd me, and he was like, "I'm not going to let these fuckers win a, th a, th a, th a, th a third title. I'm playing." And I was like, "I knew we'd get you to play." <laughs> And it's it's definitely true. Um, I honestly was not planning on playing this season because Squid and Brennan were not planning on playing. So I was kind of just say, okay, when those guys come back, I will have something to definitely uh, play for. So glad that that came to fruition, and here we are. Now now I can go talk uh, uh, trash, which is yes. awesome. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so with that being uh, all three leagues, and I can quickly show you now for proof that I was not lying for the for the thing. I <laughs> emails to me, so let's get this off. Play capture, we have the lazy Carlos Squid. Then we have the high Shuhusu BBK. Then we have the we- Weverly Ice and Glob. So, as you can tell, I was not lying here. And uh, this will be an interesting season, to say at the least, with a bunch of newcomers in the Z-Move, with myself being demoted to D-Max, looking to get revenge, and then we have the uh, three players looking for a three-peat in G-Max. So every league here will have something to prove. It will have action going on, whether it be a Z-Move, just being Z-Move, with their new players coming in and taking on the league, or whether it be uh, the G Max battles between uh, Lazy Squid and Brennan, or whether it be me and D Max talking trash to no one because no one will will talk back to me. <laughs> yeah, just just add some fuel to the fire. I'm sure it'll get going. Yes. So hang on, should I should I make a call out quickly? So I'm calling out. Hi. Shuhusu, BBK, Absolute, Pierce, Zach, Lodgy, Aaron. I like Looney, so I'll leave Looney. But all, oh, but I, but I'm going nine and one. The only person who can beat Ooh. me, the only person who can beat me is Looney. There we are. Done. Nine and right. one, calling it. I like nine it. One, yeah, nine and one, and then I'm gonna lose. Oh no, hang on. Should I do the beard and go? Uh, no, no. Should should I do the beard and go? 10 and 0, and then lose 6 0 in the first round of playoffs. Oh, that, <laughs> even though that's unfortunate, <laughs> that would give you a promotion, so that, that could work. Yeah, that's all I need. So, in saying that, uh, I would like to thank you, Lazy, for joining me today. Thank you. Uh, and with that being said, guys, this has been the boy from Land Down Under, and please check out the rest of the videos on the, on the TLTPG channel here. And it's, it's your boy from Land Down Under, Land Down Under signing off, and peace.